exactly does organic mean? We're about to find out here in Garden Philosophy. So continuing our discussion about whether organic is worth the trouble, I received a comment that I thought was notable. It comes from Depower02. They write, If I were to ask you if you opt for organic food when you have the choice, what would you say? 20 years ago, if I were to ask you the same question, what would you have said? Do you think the definition of organic has changed in 20 years? Do you think the definition of organic will change in the next 20 years? So what really is organic? So is organic food really worth it? Is, the, is that the proper question? How can organic be a garden philosophy if it is changing so? Wouldn't possibly a more descriptive but broader philosophy be do the best with what you can or what you got. Gardening needs to be simple. You do not know what you do not know. So in 20 years, who knows? I like the approach here. It's a Socratic approach where we're trying to, through questions, through simple questions, get to the matter of truth, where we deconstruct artificial ideas, artificial um, thought constructs, and we get to the soul of the question. What is organic? But I would ask the following questions. Can we argue anything without defining it first? And is it possible to know anything without a definition? So with those questions in mind, what exactly is organic? Well, the term organic has changed meaning over time. And I think nowadays it means, to the layperson, something that is natural, something that is uh, not synthetic, not artificial. It is generally understood that organic means a system that will cycle resources, it will also promote ecological balance, and additionally it conserves biodiversity. Now does that mean that what is labeled USDA organic always follows those criteria? I think these criteria, the, the, the definition that I've um, spoken is more of a definition of the philosophy of organic but not the legality of organic. Whenever you try to legislate morals, principles, philosophies, you always end up short. Legislation exists to draw artificial arbitrary boundaries. That's the point of legislation. It is not to necessarily uphold deeper truths or deeper moral dilemmas. Legislation is only there to draw out lines that are either right or wrong according to law, but not necessarily according to morals. Now where did the term organic farming come from? Because in fact all farming prior to the Second World War was considered mainly organic. There were very few synthetics added to that. In 1939, Lord Northbourne, he coined this term organic by trying organic farming by trying to describe a system that was working as an organism so that all parts of farming were interconnected instead of just having the what was becoming the common to have outside things put into the system and then yield taken out and not a cycle. Organic farming attempts to create or recreate that cycle to the best of its ability, the cycle of nature, of use, reuse, recycle, rebuild, restructure. That's um, the earth is, is a biosphere that is in constant recycling of its materials. And while, of course, because of entropy, we are losing potential energy, it is a cycle that, for the most part, is sustainable in, at least in a human scale and time frame. Organic farming mainly means, in its principles, to continue um, to uphold the fertility of the land using only 
natural resources, ideally from that land. That does not mean that's what happens in conventional organic farming nowadays, because it is an industrial process. The work of early writers like Lord Northbourne and also the Rolldale Institute with its publication Organic Gardening, I think that cemented the idea of what the term organic means and what organic gardening means. And to most people, I believe, they have a good grasp that organic means raising things without the artificial synthetic chemicals that is common or are common in modern agriculture. There is a common equivocation with the term organic. If you ever studied chemistry, you learn that the term organic means any chemical compound that has carbon within its structure, and inorganic would be the reverse. That does not mean that all the chemicals that are applied in conventional agriculture would be inorganic chemicals. No, they, they do contain compounds of, um, with carbon which make them organic chemicals. That is just the wrong use of the word. The, the reason why this equivocation exists is because early soil scientists actually um, would differentiate chemical conventional farming from organic farming because fertilizers used in organic farming were animal-based manures and those did have organic compounds with carbon whereas the superphosphates and the Haber process nitrogen did not. So that was a differentiation. But with all the other chemicals, they can be carbon-based in conventional agriculture, and they're going to still be called organic. However, there is an important point to, to take here, because organic farming is dependent on organic matter. That is carbon that is put into the soil to rebuild the structure of the soil. Without that carbon and those structures, the soil is not as fertile. It will not be a good home for all the microorganisms that live there and that create fertility, in fact, and are able to translate minerals from the rock to plant available compounds. So. The organic aspect, the chemistry definition of organic, is still an important definition to know, but that does not mean chemical agriculture does not use organic compounds. That's where most of the confusion derives. Now, nowadays, we tend to use the word organic to mean something that's natural, something that's whole. So what do you think? Do you think the term organic is important, should it be kept? Do you think it needs to be protected through legislation? Is it important to have a term? Should we just understand where good food comes from and have personal relationships with each other? Does the term organic actually, is it just a tool to give more control to bigger corporations where they can, with, they can hold that term and use it as a brand and it loses its primary meaning and becomes just like any other brand. Is that the case? As Deep Power 2 had brought up, does it matter that we use the word organic? Does it matter that we debate the, the term? Is it not better just to have, to, to, to have our goal be a simple way of gardening? Yes, you could see it that way. But at the same time, I think words, they're important because they can hold meaning in a concise package. So while we could describe the type of agriculture we would like to see as in longer sentences and longer paragraphs, having one word that at least has the right direction in terms of meaning, I think it's valuable. So I, I agree, I, I think that organic is a good first step and if we can solidify what that means instead of wash away what that means then we're moving in the right direction. I understand that things change, 
science changes, we understand things to be good and perhaps with a broader scope we later understand them not to be. Being practical now, I know that we might have the in good intentions to do what is best and we want good food, we want food that's not toxic. But I would like to learn from you as a gardener, were there instances where you had to resort to chemicals, harsh chemicals, to control a certain problem? And do you think those instances were justifiable? Do you think, in the end, was it worth it? If we keep true to the idea that we first, when we introduce a new technology, a new um, concept, if we first use the natural systems as arbiters of if that is indeed worthy or not to be included, I think that's a good rule of thumb to start. Does that mean that all technology is bad? Not necessarily. I believe there is appropriate technology. However, I believe that a lot of technology gets into mainstream out of the necessity to sell. It's a commercial need and because it fulfills a certain human need, it sells. Doesn't mean that that need is being fulfilled in a sustainable way or that indeed it's a need. Sometimes technology is there just to make things easier but not in a good way. So we need to be a little bit more discerning in what we accept and what we don't. And we have to understand and seek to understand. That does not mean we know everything and does not mean that in 20 years we could be slightly wrong. But hopefully if we picked a, a direction that appears to be more moral, appears to be more integral, hopefully we'll be heading towards a direction where we can just perhaps change a little bit of the route and get towards our, our destination. So just because we don't know something, as the first commenter pointed out, does that mean we shouldn't take action on it? I suppose you need to know, at least partially, the direction where you want to go. And that way you can do something. If we run into the idea that because we don't know, we shouldn't oppose or we shouldn't have a strong opinion about something, I think that's a dangerous slippery slope because we never can fully know anything. It does not mean we should not be complacent and never do anything. I think we we have a gut feeling, we have a instinct that shows what is right, what is wrong, what is morally right, what is morally wrong. And while cer certain things may be right in terms of gain, in terms of immediate success, we know deep down they're not necessarily right. And many times we will live our lives accepting those things, but we really are in cognitive dissonance deep down. At least that's my take. What's yours? <laughs> From the last discussions, uh, we raised the question if organic gardening can in indeed uh, supplant what conventional farming is doing now. And I got a comment from Dan Grubbs, and he writes, There is no production problem in agriculture. We produce far more food and food ingredients than we consume. We have a location problem because we want to centralize production, and it's false that we have to use more land to grow the same amount of food through an organic approach. The Rodale Institutes and other scientific efforts, as well as many other, many everyday producers, have proven that you can gain equal and or higher yields in an organic approach. The message of needing more farmland in the organic approach is a message pro proliferated by the PR machine of Agribiz to try and protect its market share. Let's not even talk about the increase in costs of healthcare and the degradation of soils that is the result of our current industrial approach to agriculture. These are all factors that must be considered in the total impact to our geosphere. Absolutely correct. And from what I understand, he is a small producer. Um, so he, he knows what he's talking about. Agribusiness. Is it trying to paint the picture that they are important? Yes, that's what marketing does. 
Does that mean that organic is infallible and that there is no differential between current standards and yield from organic to conventional? I believe there might be. I cannot say for sure, but there is evidence both ways. So because we don't have clear-cut data that everyone agrees with, we'll have to prove, prove that organic is more than enough. Now, just for some reason, farmers in the culture only sees the yield. And we only see yield because we do what we do mainly out of economic necessity. And yield is what directly can be sold. However, he brings up an important point. Production is not the, the issue. And some other people brought up the point that we produce more than actually we can use and we find other ways of using things so it's not an issue of production, and I agree. It is not an issue of production. We have a huge issue in distribution in terms of, of having a moral way of distributing resources that is not going to be solved by more production. Of course, you can have more production. That's just going to have more waste. If we have already enough waste that covers exactly what people, those who are lacking, would be covered by the waste that's produced currently, so production is fine. The idea that by switching to organic will necessarily create famines, I'm not so sure. It's hard to say. Hard to say it wouldn't, hard to say it would. Because there are more things than production in that case. There are other factors that are intrinsic to humans. And that does not mean that not doing so will solve the problems of um, the toxicity in water, the toxicity in soil, the destruction of soils, erosion, all these other issues that have to do with what's happening at this point. We, we need to, to feed ourselves and we need to make a living. But if we can use our brains to find a better solution, hopefully we can get to a more peaceful, prosperous place. We need to always be concerned about the soil. If we can protect the soil, if we can make it be whatever system we use, make it be sustainable, make it be a cycle that mimics the natural cycles because those are sustainable. If we can do that, then we're heading in the right direction. I have a final comment I like to highlight and it comes from the Green Jarrett. They write, Organic farming is far from being completely implemented. Ramio fragmented wood, French fenoculture, fermented herb fertilizers, sprouted seeds, tea, electroculture like Lakhovsky coils, thunder rod dynamizers, paramagnetic soil, biomagnetism generators like Van Duren devices or geomagnetic organite have yet to be widely used. And that's, that's true. I think there is much more to look into. I don't necessarily think that all those approaches are necessarily scientifically sound, but many of them are. So we have to have an open mind to try and see other directions other than just chemicals to control our issues. Um, there are other ways of improving plant health and decreasing the likelihood of diseases and pesticides. So whatever we do, if we understand that organic can mean more than just what we've legislated, we can move forward and as gardeners as people who can start in your own backyard in your own front yard in in a pot in your windowsill you can start practicing those those concepts and understanding that you can grow your own food and have food that is fresher food that is cleaner food that is more flavorful i hope you do that